able to seal him. Here's the pass. Oh, what a catch! Leaping into the air and pulling it down is T. Higgins. What up? Yeah, now we he is the T. There's the voice of a living legend. Wow. Superstar. Yeah. See, I know you're like, what is going on right now? Yeah. Before I turn it over to you, I got to introduce my cast. This is Daddy O. This is Dr. Hodge at the top. And I see your face right now. Your face is like, uh, Pac, you didn't tell me that you got two mothers on here. <laughs> Definitely didn't tell me that. <laughs> oh, hey, boo. T. Higg, back-to-back, 1,000-plus-yard season, national champs with Clemson, unbelievable guy, sure hands, who about to get paid. I classify him as my brother, my friend. I wish he was my teammate. T. Higg, welcome to the show, my brother. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate y'all for having me, sure. Mr. T. Higgins, you are already a legend in the community of Cincinnati, not only because of your play, because your love for the people here. We all saw you everywhere, all over social media, showing the love for the fans, signing hundreds of thousands of things, yeah. memorabilia. You go and it's, and it's over, the event's over, and they say, we want more, we want more. You go back, you show them more love. I was there, I had nothing for you to sign. I, I, I couldn't, physically I cannot purchase memorabilia. He, he's allergic to spending money, T. That's allergic to spending money. Every time hey, I spend a, money, my good, palms get sweaty. Thing, yeah. Is it? Thank I, you. I don't know. <laughs> But what, is it, what does it mean, the community to you, the city of Cincinnati? It's become your, your home. Yeah, man, it means a lot. You know, for my rookie year, when we went, what, 4-12, and 12, I seen how, you know, the city was. I seen how, you know, how much love they have for us, even, even in a losing record, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, I just, I just try my best to give back any way I can. Hey, man, the city of Cincinnati has been ranked the number one loyal and most fun place to be is Ohio. You know that, right? <laughs> FC is on fire. I used to call them uh, a coaster. Now I call them a coaster because I'm at every game and I finally don't re- realize who the dog is. Then you go over to the Reds game. You know, you go watch the Reds. Eli is putting on a show right now. Yes. I don't know if you did. You get the jersey sign when you was down there. I still haven't got the jersey sign yet. Man. And then we got the Cincinnati Bengals, man. Like, what is the city like for you as far as when you first came here? And, and like right now, like I think we're at the magnitude of what Cincinnati has been because I've been here through all of the stages. And I think just the city and responding and what the city have done for the sports, I should say, um, has been really good. Yeah, man. You know, like I said, like my rookie year, you know, it was COVID. So, you know, I didn't see too many people, you know, walking the streets downtown, anything like that. But like now, you know, you got us, the Bengals, you got the FC. You got the Reds and like and all all of us have been doing well the past few years, you know what I'm saying? So man, it's just it's a great sight to see. Seeing all the people walking around in the SC uh jerseys, you know, the Reds jerseys, and then you know, our game days, you know, everybody man, it's just man, the love is there, man. It's there. Yeah, but the Bengals are national stars now. You guys got fans everywhere. Yes, people sir. love you guys, yes. man. People love you guys. T, can can we ask you about the jellyfish? Is it okay? Or jellyfish questions? I don't know if you're. You, yeah, T, yeah. did you know that jellyfish can live forever? Because you're gonna need a lot of food for those guys. Did you know hey. that the jellyfish is a complete meal? It is the meat and the noodles together. It's a very efficient a snack. No. If you're, if you don't eat your jelly, don't 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 make fun of a man's jellyfish. T. Hey, I I I did not know none of those facts. First of all, and second, jellyfish is a thing. You know what I'm saying? I got into it because I thought it was going to be a nice home decor, to be honest. Yeah. So do so, you got one? Did you order one? I like tank. I got the tank. Uh, the plan is to get it set up tomorrow. You know, I hit I hit the people at the Newport Aquarium, you know, see see if they can help me out. So are hey. you going to name them? You're going to name the jellyfish? That's what everybody keeps asking me. That. I don't know. I don't know yet. Well, Daddy yo. Can, can I recognize? Talk the heart. Can, yeah, OG is yeah. a great name for the jellyfish. <laughs> a lot of people name it. Yeah, you know, I might have to do that. <laughs> Daddy, we should name it after you, Daddy. Oh, yeah, I'm like your mustache. You you have a jelly-like mustache. <laughs> I, do. I put I put a lot of jelly-like substances, substances in my hair. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Hey, bro, let's get back into it. You know, Aaron Rodgers. You know, we we seen all this stuff that's going on with him. And HBO, you know, the different guys that he eat with every week or he switch it up. Um, what is a normal routine for you, like, during the week? Um, do you sit with the same guys? Um, me, personally, I used to jump around because I was, like, the firecracker. 
in the group. So I would go over and just see what everybody was doing. But, like, what is your routine? Like, you see with the same guys or what's your plan? Yeah, for me, uh, usually, like, you know, breakfast coming around. I, I usually go and sit by myself. You know, it's, it's the morning. I don't feel like talking to nobody for real. Yeah. But then, you know, lunch, that's when I, you know, sit around different tables and stuff like that. It's usually, it's usually you know, the linemen always, the old linemen, they always got that group. Ain't no room for me, you know what I'm saying? So they eat everything. I let, yeah. yeah, I let them have they look, they table. But um, I try to jump around sometimes, man. You know, just get to know people, get to know my teammates, stuff like that. We want to know if you had to pick three people on the Bengals team that you sit at the table with. Who are the three to eat lunch? Okay, number one, I'm gonna go DJ Reader. Yes, yeah, sir. Because you know, what I'm saying I like to pick his brain. Smart dude. You know, what I'm saying he always giving me good knowledge. So you know, I'm gonna go with DJ Reader. Number two, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little bit outside the box. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. Gonna go, I'm gonna go Evan McPherson. Let's go! I love that I love answer. It. I'm yes. gonna go Evan. 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 He always joking around in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like Positive we have a vibes. good conversation. Yeah. You know, yeah. good conversation yeah. at the table. Big kick energy. Number three, <laughs> I know who not gonna be at the table. Uh oh. Tell me. Give us the scoop. B.J. Hill. <laughs> BJ Hill will not make the table. Uh-uh, he ain't make it. Hey, Dr. Hodge, if you had to sit with, I'll, I'll let you name uh, your table. Give you three people. Who who would you sit with? Three three people. Yeah. See, now you're not gonna believe me because it's gonna seem like I'm just saying T Higgins because he's here. But I <laughs> T, you don't know. I have been a fan of you forever. Man. He has. He's been, he have. called it. Yeah. He called yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. You, no, you were drafted in the second round. He was like, this guy is one of the five best players in this draft. This guy's going to be a superstar. He said that right away, T. Yeah. When you were only a 20-year-old rookie. Yeah. I, yeah. I used to call you Coffee Higgins because you were caffeinated. You played with a lot of energy. <laughs> but but oh, I love yeah. T, too. It's a classic. Who else? Pick. Who else? Pac-Man, you're not going to believe my second pick. It's you. I love you, man. Yeah, I, I you want too, you to man. be at my dinner table. I'll Please. be there, man. Yeah. And Bill Belichick or, or Zach Taylor. Oh, Bill. Either one. They're, they're my two favorite coaches. Oh, you like corn fit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Hey, Pac-Man, I would say my first pick would be Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton? daddy yo, Andy Dalton, the first what? pick? What? Yeah, because he's going to bless all the food for us. He's a very he's a very yeah. holy man. Very holy man. <laughs> all right. Very holy man. That's a good pick. And I, I definitely pick. want Bill Romanowski there because I'm too shy, if they get my order wrong, to say anything. But he will stand up. He will let the waiter know. If they get your order wrong, that's he's right. He's very assertive. Yeah. Yeah. He's not a, not and, a passive guy. Um, and I want Joe Burrow to pass all the dishes around, make sure everybody gets their share. Yeah. That's right. Oh, They'll man. all go to the right place with Joe Burrow at the that end. Was good. That was good. If if I had to pick a coach first, I would probably pick uh, Arthur Smith down in Atlanta. Um, I had a chance to interview him not too long ago, and I just love the beard. He had a little nice swag about him. You know what I mean? He was about his business, and you could kind of tell that he was a player coach. If I had to pick two players, probably going to go with Aaron Donald or Miles Garrett first. I need some beef at the table okay. so I can have somebody to protect us. And probably oh, my I thought because they have the beef. I guess the, my they third are, they person, are yeah, we need some muscle at the table, Bring man. It. Maybe some tofu? My third person would probably be... Kelsey, you know, Kelsey had Kelsey got swag and he had the nerves to try to go holler at Taylor Swift after a three hour show. Uh, Man, to have, to have that <laughs> type of uh, energy, I should say, or nuts, I thought that was very, very intriguing. <laughs> you know, T, I don't know if you know this, man, but because you're a Capricorn, that means you are literally the goat because a Capricorn yeah. is a goat. So yeah, you can tell I'm people, I am the goat. Yeah, <laughs> you can, I, I am the goat. And you can be very accurate about that because you are literally a goat. Capricorn. <laughs> Mr. T. Higgins, I, I, look, you have such an incredible demeanor, such a beautiful smile. You're so positive. You're such a loving relationship with your mother. I want to know, what do you put into your body? What is your daily routine? And me and Hoji, we had a debate about this. Yeah, we I have some ideas. He has some ideas. I believe that you are on the keto diet. Am I right about keto. that? Keto. No, keto. 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 Keto is the only, or keto? What, no, what no, is, keto. What, what, what the the keto that? diet. Yeah, that's where you only eat the flesh of baby animals. Like you have veal, <laughs> you have your spring lamb, you and have baby your chicks. Turtles. Don't do it. You, and, nah, and you absorb I, I their youthfulness. That. You don't do that. Because you look very young. 
That sounds crazy. I'm not gonna. It's lie. it's no. It's it's the newest thing. So I, I think you and I also think you probably He's a very counts. healthy man. This man has a glow. He's vegan, right? <laughs> I don't think so. No, I ain't vegan either. He's not vegan. Tell at us, all. tell us. What do you eat every day? What do you eat? Like like average kind of foods that you eat. Hamburgers. Me, a lot of them. Uh, depends. Depends on the day. What, what can I not put on a T Higgins hamburger? What do you hate on your hamburger? Tomatoes. Oh my oh. god. Anything mustard. a vegan would eat. No. Mustard. No mustard. It can, onions can get away, but it got to be a little bit. It can't. No onions. Okay. Really, all I want is cheese and ketchup. That's it. All right. Simple it. man, simple pleasure. First of all, we, we want to say thank you for giving us your time. and We're going to be right back with Pac-Man Jones, the crazy <laughs> company. We got daddy hey, We had Dr. Hodge, and we had one of the coolest guys that I've ever met, my little brother. Ever. My my One of my best friends. Hey, you keep doing what you're doing, man. You got big things ahead of you and a lot of money ahead of you. You hear me? And, and, yeah, yeah, and, sir, T, and T, can I, can I ask you one last favor, T? What up? If, if you break 2,000 yards receiving this year, you, 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 you break it, will you come back on this show to celebrate? Because I think it's going to happen. Yeah. All right. If you break, yeah. if you, if you break, yeah, yeah. if you get yeah. two, if you get 2,000 yards, I'll donate $100,000 to whatever charity that you want me to. If you get 2,000 yards this year. Okay. All right. We out of here. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more news on Pac-Man Jones. Keep crazy coming.